Insomniac Spider-Man is finally upon us. I've spent more than 40 hours with the game and have loved every second of it. In doing so, I'm reasonably certain I've seen every nook and cranny of what the game currently has to offer. So from discovering easter eggs to giving high fives, we've compiled a list of 5 things to do other than playing through the story. This isn't to undermine the excellent narrative and performances present in this masterpiece, but rather a way to explore all there is to do around the playground that is New York City. Let's dive in. Literally! Honestly, this one essentially sums up everything. From stopping crimes, collecting backpacks, completing research stations, challenges, enemy bases, and more, the Big Apple will keep you busy for hours on end. As much as I adore the story, I wound up losing track of time while engaging in side activities due to Spidey's incredible traversal. The activities are wonderfully varied and the city's just too much fun to swing around in. Though they aren't bound in narrative progression, side missions begin to appear as you move through the story. Naturally, I couldn't resist and swung straight to them the moment they showed up. I won't spoil them here, but I can assure you they're absolutely worth participating in at any time. And as a bonus to their stories and characters, the rewards received for completing them are well worth it. For the first time in the history of Spider-Man games, you can interact with the city citizens. Between giving high fives and selfies, you can genuinely be the friendly neighborhood the world has come to love. There are those who harshly judge you while passing by, but I'm sure they mean well. If you need an incentive to greet the street dwellers, bear in mind you earn a trophy for doing so. If there was ever a game that deserved a photo mode, it was most definitely this one. Sadly, photo mode was reserved for release day, so I wasn't able to take advantage of it during my first 40 hours. Thankfully, the game is now available to us all, and I'm sure we'll be sharing some gnarly photos of the webhead from here on out. After all, Peter is a talented photographer, and photo mode's another way to immerse yourself in the role when dealing with criminals and swinging about. By now, we're all well aware of the magnificence of Spider-Man's traversal. I'll be dropping in to swing around for pleasure long after the game has run its course. Frankly, swinging around Manhattan is practically a drug. A few of us here at COG have discussed how we enjoy attempting to make Spidey look as cool as possible while traversing the city and creating specific challenges for ourselves while we're at it. For example, swooping high into the air and attempting to land in the middle of a helicopter pad is a fun one, or swinging low and darting through various bridges and tunnels. There's a myriad of ways to move about the concrete jungle, and now that the game's in the hands of millions, we're sure to see some amazing feats in the coming weeks and months ahead. Insomniac Spider-Man is a masterclass in not only superhero games, but video games in general. I absolutely adore it. It's a literal dream come true. We hope you enjoy our list of 5 things to do other than playing through the main story. For more on Spider-Man, you can check out our 6 tips for combat or our classic cartoon intro remade on PS4. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to COG Connected for all things gaming. And for news, reviews, features, and more, visit us online at cogconnected.com.